private sectors. The protests have been organised by the Trades Union Congress. The government says pay restraint has been necessary in order to safeguard jobs. Well, our correspondent uh, Joe Lynham is at the rally in central London for us and he has more. Joe. Yeah, good afternoon. Um, I've been here, what, this is the start of the uh, rally, and it's an hour and 15 minutes since the rally started moving in the direction of Hyde Park. Now, the organisers reckon there are up to 90,000 people taking place. Certainly the sea of humanity that has flown here by embankment has not stopped in that hour and 15 minutes. The message is clear from the union movement. Britain needs a pay rise. They say uh, that uh, over the last five or six years, there has been a real terms pay cut of two and a half thousand pounds per person per annum. And that it's time now for wages to go up at least in line with inflation. They say that one in five people are making less than the living wage. And all the while, the super rich, uh, their earnings have gone up so much so that they used to be 45 times average earnings and now there are supposedly 175 times earnings. The mood today has been super peaceful, super um, relaxed, easy going. The weather has been kind, the rain has stayed away. There's a whole myriad of people, they're not just protesting about pay, some are anti-Trident movements, some are um, uh, protesting against what's happening in Kobani in Syria. A, as you can see, there's a family atmosphere here. And let me just try and grab some of the, let me try and grab some of these uh, people to say, hello, sir. Hi. Why are you here? Why are you protesting? Well, I'm marching because we need a proper pay rise in Britain. I'm an NHS worker and I haven't had a pay rise for four years. Okay, thank you. Enjoy the day. The government, of course, have a different um, perspective on this. They say that they have done their bit uh, to help people over the last few years. They say they have frozen council tax bills. They say they have lowered income taxes and that they have raised the amount of money that you could earn before you start paying taxes. And that the government needs to get its financial house in order before pay rises start. But, uh, from central London as they make their way towards Hyde Park Corner. Back to you in the studio. Joe, thank you. Joe Lynham there reporting.